like a hell cut. Sincerely apologize for being several days late to this. Uh, this past week of school has been uh, exhausting and time consuming. I most days have been running like two or three hours of sleep, but here we are. Um, with Mad Maggie, uh, gonna test out her abilities in the fire range. I will at some point next week have like full several hours of gameplay. I'm gonna get Cookie on here and play with him for a couple hours. It's just gonna take some time. I have a lot of stuff to do today, but I wanted to get this at least out today since I d am not doing StarCraft videos anymore just because they're not worth the time. Um, I, I just want another video this week, so yeah. Let's go to hop into this, um, into the firing range. Uh, I, and I shouldn't have to spend any money to buy her. This, uh, I have 3,000 tokens. I didn't realize that. I had, um, accident. I forgot that whenever I bought Ash, I accidentally bought three, uh, legends worth of, um, uh, Apex tokens. So, um, I, I have enough to buy whatever the next one is as well so i didn't actually have to put any money into buying mad maggie like i thought i did which i'm glad because uh i'm kind of low on money at the moment <laughs> but yeah so here she is um i'm i'm, I'm trying i'm in i don't remember how to do this so of course our abilities are the riot drill which is this uh fire drill that attaches obstacles and burns through enemies on the other side warlord's eye or she can temporarily see enemies that she uh, has damaged uh, through walls stuff like that like a tracker uh, thank you. I think what somebody says it lasts like two seconds, which seems incredibly short, but I don't know. And then she moves faster shotguns. Uh, and then wrecking ball. Throw a uh, ball that releases speed boost pads and detonates near enemies. Um, so I can go ahead and show uh, Warlord's ire by going over here and grab. There's clearly someone else in here. These are not the shotguns. Why is the vault here? Weird. Okay. There's a lot of here. What the crap? Why are both of these here? Okay, whatever. I'm gonna need the Mastiff. Like you. Oh no, she only has an interesting pickup animation for the Mastiff. Oh, but yeah, so uh, she just runs faster, so I can uh, grab this. I didn't grab it. <clears throat> so she, this is her running speed with uh, uh, the Devotion LMG. And then this is her running speed. Oh, geez, that's a lot with a shotgun. Um, so, yeah, it makes her ever so slightly faster. I think it is extremely close to just the unequipped speed. Yeah, it's very close to the unequipped speed, if not exactly the same, which is quite cool. Once again, like I think I said, uh, several of the videos I've done on her so far whenever the trailers are coming out. I don't use shotguns as much nowadays as I used to. If they're the only weapon I can freaking find, I'll use it. But I prefer to have something else, uh, <clears throat> like one of the SMGs or something like that. Um, like this weapon that is now in the red right here. Th this is... This... Wrong. The, the light uh, uh, SMG is what I usually go for. Um, it's just because I feel like it's more effective. But yeah, so... I guess this might encourage me to actually go for, um, it's not really this, I usually have the, uh, the EVA 8, but, whatever, uh, it might encourage me to go with shotguns more. It might also make me feel a little better about only finding, um, Mozambiques 90% of the time, but yeah, so, her ability is that whenever she deals damage to one of, uh, an enemy, she consumes the wall, although it doesn't seem to be working for these bots for some reason. I'm not sure if the tracking abilities work on these bots in general, so that might be just the simplest explanation to it. Uh, but yeah, um, her tactical ability is this, uh, I, I forgot what it's called. Basically, she can fire it through set amounts of material. Of course, if it's too much material, uh, I think there's an upper limit. I'm trying to find something that would be the upper limit. So, it seemed like about 8 meters is the thickest it can fire through, which is quite cool. So, she can, uh, like, get down here and fire it through here. And it will blast through on the other side and deal damage. And I think it deals, what was it, just like 120 damage by the end? 160, actually. A lot more I thought it could. Uh, but it can go through map terrain, it can go through barriers, so I'm assuming it can go through uh, ramparts as well, because we did see it go through um, uh, Gibraltar's. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, I'm not sure what it does on impact. It bounces off. It actually is a massive AoE. 
That's actually kind of insane. I don't think it does as much damage in that higher AoE, but that's a pretty massive AoE. Uh, but yeah, so that's pretty much what it does. Um, it's definitely a zoning tool. It definitely has a similar niche. Uh, ability niche, ability uh, role to um, use his knuckle clusters, um, which is exactly what I was saying. It was basically going to be another variant of that. Um, except hers always kind of has to be proactive and on the engage whenever uh, fuses can kind of be used both defensively and offensively as a reaction and as a preemptive thing. So it's pretty cool. I'm going to try to see how... I didn't think this through. <laughs> I was trying to see what its range was. I didn't think it through. Oh, well. Uh, but so her ultimate <clears throat> is the uh, Wrecking Ball. Which is just... This. It's what I thought was a sword and shield. Because her animation for it kind of looked like she had a, a, a flail sword and a shield. So it's just this, it does the spinning thing, which is really cool. I actually really like the idle animation. And so she just throws it out. And it throws out these blue things, which actually give a speed boost. Um, which is kind of crazy <clears throat> and then it, it basically detonates on um whatever wall it hits uh or if it hits a person and it does like 25 damage it doesn't do a lot of damage at all and these things actually last quite a while and they do actually <clears throat> um where they speed you up they actually will s i'm pretty sure what i heard is that this slow down enemies of course i'll have to test it out whenever i play her but i'm pretty sure it can be used to slow down enemies um i will double check that later and they last quite a while. I'm not sure if they can be destroyed. No, they cannot be destroyed. Which is interesting. Um, yeah, and they, like I said, they last quite a while. As you can see, neither of them have really gone away. <clears throat> yeah, they kind of just last. I'm kind of wait, trying to wait and see until they go away. Oh, okay. I, I wasn't paying attention to time. That's a long amount of time they just stay there. So, yeah, it's kind of insane. <clears throat> and like I said, it bounces around. I think it has a maximum distance because it will eventually bounce back. Like, if you if you don't fire it far, it will bounce back. So, if I throw it, like, right here, it should just kind of bounce around. Um, and explode. Uh, <clears throat> I think it does have a maximum distance to it. And it explode once it reaches that maximum distance. Now I'm going to show you how much damage it does to uh, any players. It doesn't do a lot of damage. Uh, and I, don't think, I think it does actually less damage if you just throw it directly at somebody. Which is uh, an interesting change, nonetheless. Um, but yeah. So I can throw it. See if it's going to hit him if I throw it here. So he I think I broke it. Ow. Ooh, it has a distortion effect and slows you whenever it hits you, which is pretty cool. Um, I, I don't know why it didn't roll. I think I found a bug. Maybe I just didn't throw it far enough. I don't know. I, I haven't had, I, I tested it out last night whenever the update finally actually installed. I was going to get this video out earlier today, but uh, it took three hours to install for some reason. I have no idea why. All right, let's try this again. Yeah. It got close to him, and it deals 20 damage, which isn't a lot, but the fact that it kind of does the distortion and slow um, to enemies that it hits is really powerful. Beyond that, I don't think there's really anything else to say. Um, oh, I didn't realize I picked up the car. Um, it isn't really anything else to say. She's quite an interesting legend. I think she's going to be pretty good. I'm not going to like her kit, because it definitely does in... Because uh, I'm more of a hold down the fort kind of guy, or run the whole time. And I guess her abilities can kind of be used in that way, but she is most ideally going to be an attack, just an uh, offensive character of some sort. So, yeah. Um, free to tell me your opinions, and opinions on her in the comment section down below. Um, give me any suggestions for us to try out whenever I, I do my gameplay thing, and uh, I'll be sure to do that. Uh, but yeah. Uh, what were the names it was showing up there? Is it just showing the other people that are in the server at the moment? Might be. Alright, but what, uh, what do you guys think though? For, tell me your opinions in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Matthew Avenger. Have a nice day. Stay safe. Peace out.